a toast and a handshake to celebrate the formalization of diplomatic relations between Trinidad and Tobago and Lithuania, signed in New York late Wednesday between the foreign ministers of both countries, with Minister Winston Dukaran saying that this new initiative widens the scope of Trinidad and Tobago's diplomatic relations. And this is but a next step in ensuring that our presence in the European region is one that can reap benefits to both of us. Through the minister, he thanked Lithuania for supporting Trinidad and Tobago's resolution 6569, which calls on the UN to take decisive action against the illicit trade in small arms and light weapons that affect women and girls. In response, the Lithuanian foreign minister, Odronius Azubali, thanked Trinidad and Tobago for supporting its candidature as a member of the Security Council, saying that there is wisdom in securing the common good through collaboration. And sometimes we see even the bigger countries trying to play, uh, trying to push to one or another side. And that's why I think that the, the small countries as we are, we should support each other. Similar sentiments were expressed when the minister held bilateral discussions with the Singaporean delegation, reiterating the close ties between the two nations and pledging to deepen the friendship. And I am particularly happy that Singapore has decided to organize a symposium at this conference on the issue of small states. And as Trinidad and Tobago, we look forward because we ourselves have been taking certain initiatives to build a greater political space for small states in the world around us. We have similar challenges, we see the world in similar ways, the rule of law and international law is important and we emphasize that we meet together and we are very grateful that Minister has agreed to take part and be a panelist and share with him, with us and everyone else his experiences. And the bilateral closed with Ghana, with whom Trinidad and Tobago has a long-standing relationship and with whom energy talks are in progress. But the issue that is gaining traction here at the UN is a reassessment of the role of the Security Council. And more specifically, we discuss the issue as coming together and supporting each other in our efforts to change the architecture of the Security Council to make it more reflective of today's world. To strengthen uh, its uh, peacekeeping efforts, I mean, to, 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 to make sure that the Security Council becomes even more efficient in the way it works. In between, the Trinidad and Tobago foreign minister attended a meeting of COFCOR, trying to narrow down and concretize the CARICOM issues that will go before the General Assembly. So in the midst of all that is taking place here at the United Nations, how is this GA benefiting the Caribbean in terms of the bread and butter issues like climate change, the global economy, poverty alleviation and health issues? Will it end with a bag full of deliverables or a bin of broken promises? From the United Nations in New York, this is Gideon Hanumansing reporting. Yeah. Yeah, but I told you that everybody...